Hi there, I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. Today I'm showing you my Buddha Power Blues setup. What I use uh, from guitar to amp to pedals and how I use it. First of all, this is my Nags, my Chop Tank, uh, which is the best guitar I've ever played in my life. It has three Lindy Fraylin pickups, Blue Special, and I added um, a push push here so I can have the bridge and the, and the neck pickup together for a more Telecaster sound. A lot of people ask me uh, why do I use uh, pedals to play the blues? Well, first of all, I don't play uh, traditional blues, so I need different colors, different, different things to, to make songs uh, more interesting to me, more appealing. And Buddha Power Blues is a power trio, so I don't have a keyboard player, I don't have a horn section, I don't have a, a piano. So I feel the need to have different textures in different songs and to create songs around sounds, if that makes any sense. And then it's a lot of fun playing with pedals, so <laughs> why not? But my basic sound is guitar and amp. I'm using the Lone Star, it is behind me. Uh, sometimes with a 410 when, when, I, when I play on bigger stages, uh, the cabinet 410. Uh, another time uh, when I play in small venues, I usually play with a 112. Uh, the Celestian Black Shadow and in intermediate uh, venues I play with 212 or sometimes 212 plus the, the 410, it depends. Um, the way I use it, the Lone Star has two channels and has a great thing that I love, which is a boost, a volume boost. But since I'm driving a little bit I'm driving the power amp a little bit. The boost also drives the power amp. So my main sound, I will turn off all the pedals. My main sound is guitar and amp. This is the clean channel. And I like to use all the, the pickup configuration. We'll, we'll discuss that in a later video. But I use it to get different tones and different feel. For example, the in-between setting. Okay, then I have my drive channel. The, the thing I love the most about the Lone Star is its ability to clone the first channel. So the second channel is not an overdrive channel. It's just the same channel with a little bit more gain and you can um, tune it uh, to your taste. So my second channel is exactly the same as the first but a little bit uh, crunchier and a little bit louder. Okay, so this is the clean. And this is the overdrive channel. Okay, then I even have 
the the ability to have a the solo so the solo boosts for the amount of of, of dbs that you define that you uh, preset it and you have a foot switchable solo so it's this this button over here if i play This is my favorite um, thing about the Lone Star. Well, I love the Lone Star. It's, it, it sounds really great and it's very, very uh, versatile. But having a solo in the master section allows me to solo and to boost my, my, my guitar tone, my guitar sound, and to cut above the band without adding uh, distortion or without adding a lot of distortion. It adds a little bit of compression and, and a little bit of power amp breaking up, but it's really smooth. So I can have a, my clean sound. Just louder, which, which is great when, when I don't want to change the, the sound, I just want to make it louder. If you have a boost in front of the amp, you will always break up the amp and we'll see that in a minute. So this is my basic sound and then of course it has a really good reverb. I've, I've, um, I've done this, this, I've changed this, this uh, I've put some Velcro in here in the Lone Star foot switch so I can glue this other foot, foot switch, which is from a Fostex uh, for track cassette recorder that I that I have for for a long time, my first uh, studio tool. And this is just to trigger on off the reverb. So uh, the Lone Star also has uh, two independent reverb uh, volumes or mix controls for the the overdriven and the clean sound. I use a little tiny bit of reverb. No reverb. And in the drive channel, okay. So let's move on to the pedals. I will not uh, show you the pedals in the order they are in my pedal board. I will show you. I will show it uh, uh, with the function they have. So I'll start with the first pedal in my chain that is always on. And this is the ARDX20 Analog Man Delay. I always use a slapback delay. I've, I've said it in, in, the, uh, in the latest, in, in another episode where, I've, where I talk about how I use delays. So, this is a dual delay, an analog delay, an amazing fucking great delay. I always use two settings. This this has, um, as you can see, this is the one delay setting. This is another delay setting. I I always use one repeat, a very short repeat for a slapback, and a longer repeat for a an, an more ambient, which I use in solos or when I when I want the guitar to be in a different space, a bigger space. Only one repeat in front of the end, not in the effects loop. So this is my basic main sound. I always use the the slap bang. It gives me some space 
but it doesn't mush up as a reverb. I use the reverb when I want to uh, create a, or a vintage um, kind of a Albert Collins or the bluesier sound or a, a warmer and, uh, and the more landscape, more petty thing. I'll show you in a minute. So this is my basic sound. I never turn it off. Never. You see, it gives me a, a, a dim dimension in the sound. Okay. So this is on either on this setting or on the longer. Okay, this is the basic one. Now I have the boost section, and the boost section is nothing but boosters uh, that can be clean or overdriven. The first one is the SP uh, compressor by Exotic. It's a compressor with a mix uh, control, so this sets the, the, the output of the pedal, this and this one sets the blend between the compressed and the dry signal. This is a thing that I love because it's, it's really heavy, this compressor, but you can back up and mix the, the clean sound. So it's very natural and it only gives me a little boost in, in signal, but especially uh, more sustain, which is great for, for um, clean sounds when you want to, su to sustain. Usually when I play alone, I don't feel the need of it, but it really makes up in the band, in the band context where you, you don't have the enough sustain, it really helps to, to, to bring the, the, the notes a little bit uh, higher and, and it's easier to play and you don't have to use a drive. So as you can see, I, I will set it on and off. It's a huge difference and it, it's not in volume because if you play hard it just brings something to the game, I love it. So it's almost always on too, the, the compressor, even with, a, with the overdrive. But sometimes when I, when I change to the overdrive channel, uh, the compression and the, the boost that it gives is too much and it, it overdrives too much, so I may turn it off or, or not. Uh. You see, it has a little bit of a different character, but, but it's really great. The other boost is the Boss G7 equalizer, graphic equalizer, and I use it as a, a clean boost. I mainly put it on the board because when I play rental uh, amplifiers, I don't have the, the solo uh, switch. So if I play a Fender amp uh, on the clean side, I will use for sure the SP, uh, the SP compressor. And when I want to kick in a, a, a little bit more, uh, when I want to raise my, my guitar volume a little bit, I use the Boss G7. And I also use it with a little bit of mid, uh, low mids boost, just, just a little bit, so it can make it fatter. So it's my solo pedal. When I want to go single note, I'll turn it on. But as you can see, with the settings I have on the Lone Star, my clean channel is not a clean channel at all. It's almost on, on the edge of the breakup. So when I kick in a clean boost, it overdrives a little more, it compresses a little more. Uh, with a Fender amp like a Tween or a, a Knot Rod, 
you might have more headroom because I set the amp less uh, distorted and I use the compression on the SP. But this is my regular setup. And th this is why the, um, the G7 is here. And I, I, I'm liking it. The other boost pedal, uh, it's an alternative to the overdrive of the amp. Uh, but sometimes I also use it, use it in conjunction with the overdrive of the amp. And it's a Vermeuren uh, Yan Ray, or Jan Ray, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's an amazing pedal. And it can go, uh, it, it can be really different. I use it as an overdrive, like this, so this is my clean sound. I can use it to boost the overdrive channel. So this is the overdrive channel by itself. With a Yan Ray. It's a different color, it's very similar to, to the overdrive channel, and once more, it's here because when I play rental, this is my overdrive channel. So I have the, the Yen Ray as my overdrive channel, and the Boss G7 as my clean boost. But when I play with my Lone Star, I, uh, I usually use the clean, or the dirty channel, and the solo for a, a more in level. But the G7 also makes it, also makes me, also allows me to overdrive a little more the overdrive channel. So this is the overdrive channel. Sorry, this is the overdrive. With the G7. So, it's just uh, something more. I, I, in Buddha Power Blues, I, I, I usually don't have a preset sound, un unless I'm using the, the special effects pedals, which I will show you in a minute. But I, I usually choose what, what feels the best in, in, in every show, so I, I, not, I, don't have, uh, I don't have it figured out. Uh, if I will use the overdrive in the amp, or I will use the, the Jan Ray, it depends on my mood, on on the show, on what I want to do. And sometimes I'll kick in the overdrive, and no, it's not it. I'll turn it off. I'll kick in the, the Jan Ray, uh, and it's not it. I'll kick in the overdrive and the G7. I will, I will look for for the tone I want, uh, for the things I want, because I'm always jamming and and, and improvising. So it depends on what I want to do. Uh, this leaves us, leaves us the last uh, boost pedal, which is an Analog Man Bino Booster. This baby over here. And it's a treble booster. Uh, what do I need a treble booster for in the guitar? Well, this not only boosts the treble, so it, it gives you a, a very more pronounced uh, high mid-range, so it gives you a lot more treble, I use it kind of I, uh, of how I use the the Wawa. Usually, uh, before I have the Bino Boost, I, I will use the Wawa in the in the upper position, so all with highs, and it, it's really sharp. But it really cuts through the mix, and it gives you a throaty vocal thing. So um, I use the the Bino Boost as a a treble booster, usually into the overdrive channel of the amp or into the Jan Ray, because it, it works better. But I will show you how it works into the clean amp. It, 
it not only boosts, but it's a germanium transistor, so it uh, it also distorts. So it's a very specific sound, and it, it gives you that sparkly highs. And it's very traditional in 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 blues like Buddy Guy and guys like that. Very Jimmy Pagey thing. But into the overdrive, it's very special. Just the overdrive. <laughs> Bino. And it it reacts amazingly to the volume. So you, you get a really thin, sparkly sound when you have it on. Take a look. this pedal. I use it uh, on the Will to Leave, Living in Love in the Blues, uh, Blue Town. I use it a lot. Uh, it's sometimes my boost pedal when I want something a lot throatier and, and mid-rangey. Okay, this is the boost section. Now let's go to the special effects section. The special effects section, uh, what I call it the special effects, some pedals that I only use uh, for special things. So, the first one I'll show you is the Zvex Fuzz Factory. I sometimes use it as a fuzz, a regular fuzz, which is which it ever is a regular fuzz, but I use it as a fuzz. Now, into the clean um, channel of the amp, sometimes into the dirty channel, sometimes into the SP exotic uh, compressor. This, this is how it sounds on full. Great fuzz, really dirty, really smooshed up. But I usually use it with the volume cut just a little bit so it, it really craps out. Uh.
This is one of my favorites, and it's all over the latest, uh, the last record. Uh, the other one is the um, Roger Mayer Octavia, which is the Hendrix one. Uh, and it's a fuzz with an octave up. So, it's sometimes my solo uh, pedal on full. But sometimes I turn the volume down and it, it gets really funny because it uh, the octave is not generated by a digital thing. It's an electrical thing, so it confuses the pedal, like... You hear a lower note that I'm playing. I'm playing these two notes. And you hear kind of an octave down by the summing of the two notes. You kind of hear the G. I use it a lot in conjunction with the other Roger Mayer pedal, uh, the Voodoo Vibe. Uh, the Voodoo Vibe is a Univibe clone. In a very small box, so I use it a lot. I use it on I'll Treat You Good If You Treat Me Bad intro. Is my solo uh, pedal too, but I use the Univibe as kind of an auto wah, like Hendrix used it. Uh, for example, in the same song, I'll treat you good if you treat me bad. Um, I'll use the for the verse. <laughs> to scratch a lot so these are uh, these are my special effects in this pedal board of course I have the wah which I intentionally use uh, after the fuzzes and before the overdrives because I love what what how the fuzz sounds into the into the wah. So, for example, with the Zvex, Wow. 
Are we the Octavia? It's a lot more drastic and more synth sound um, as opposed to when I when I have the overdrive after. <laughs> Uh, I don't usually use the wah as a quack, 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 quack <laughs> pedal, but I, I can use it, of course. And this is a Tis Real McCoy picture wah. Uh, then I have my totally special effects, which is the M5, Line 6 M5. I also use the M13, but uh, now I'm, I'm moving towards the M5 because it's smaller, uh, and since we're traveling a lot, uh, uh, and we're flying a lot, the smaller the better. The better. So it only has one mem one patch uh, per memory, so I'll use it as a lot of different things. I, I'll use it as a tremolo unit. <laughs> Example, or I use it as a Leslie for uh, I do the walk. And this song I use the Zvex for the solo, the same thing with volume cut, and the Leslie on. So it's this strange song. <laughs> the usual so it's the Leslie sound I use it sometimes in, in other things but mainly on this song uh, then I have the slow Leslie which I sometimes alternate with a with the tremolo some songs I play with the tremolo than the Leslie 
it depends on the show and what I'm feeling. For example, the Emigrant Song. It's, it's a song. Uh, sometimes I'm forced to use the spring reverb on the line six and not on the amp because when the, when the stage is too shaky uh, because of the drums or because the stage is not solid, uh, it will make a sound out of my reverb. So I, I sometimes, I, sometimes I'm forced to use the, the line six reverb, which is really good too. Uh, for example, in Verdesanos, I'll use a, a slower uh, delay, a longer delay, into the reverb. spring reverb here is really good so uh, compared to the amp simple phrase line six works. Uh, another special effect I use is the reverse delay. For the Andrix stuff. Bye. <laughs> 
And it, that's basically it. I forgot to mention the Polytune 2, which is really handy because it fits on the pedal board and it, it tunes really great. Uh, one of the, the great features, uh, uh, the, the very important things I also use, is the lava cables. I cannot play without this cable. This is my sound, and I, I will probably do an episode on, on cables. Uh, let me know if, if you are interested in, in that. But uh, this cable has a sound. Uh, all cables have a sound, but this cable is thicker, the sound is thicker, it has more mid-range and it's a little bit, a little compressed. And it's all things I like. I like compression, I like thickness, um, and I like mid-range. It's not a cable for everyone. I love it on single coils, it, it makes my, my sound really thick. Then I use the Ultramafic cable, this is the cable, from the pedals to the amp. And I use solderless lava cables in between the pedals to patch the pedals. First of all, because they sound really good, but mainly because the, the, the plugs are so small, you can really put the pedals close together, as you can see uh, from the pedal board. So that's it. Please let me know uh, if you enjoy the video. If you want to know more, if you have some questions, please leave it on the YouTube uh, video comments. So everyone, everyone can learn from your, from the answers I give you, uh, and and we can grow this community. Thanks a lot for watching, and please subscribe the channel. Bye. <laughs>